Okay, our first coat of brown on there. Hold the camera still. I think I got more paint on my hand than I did on the boat, but there she be. It certainly makes that green not stand out at all. But that's her so far. Okay, there is brown number two on there. Any spot that I'm uh didn't like, I just recently went over it there with a little bitty brush. I just took the spray paint and sprayed it on the uh little hairs on the brush and went back over it there. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. It's still soaking wet there. Just put this last one on here. Now, uh, let's see. We got that over there. Got one there. I put one there and I put one right there on the end. I'd like to go back through here uh, and fill in the gaps a little bit. Just to make it uh, look more digital. Let me get the fan on that so it can be dry and we'll do that. Well, it's uh, getting there. A little glare on it right in here. Can't really see it too well, but uh, it's sweetly getting there. I'm going to put some brown in it right here in this dead spot. Somewhere right in the middle right there. We're putting a little gray on it right now. Filling in some gappages. Yeah, I think a little bit more brown in it somewhere up in here. See, that just goes to show you. If everybody quit after uh, messing around with a zebra, I mean, sure, there'd be a lot less pregnant zebras, but then you wouldn't come up with a digital camo idea. Here we are so far. I went around and I've added some grays here and some uh, spots that I thought needed it. A little there, some there, there. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I'm uh, got this fan blowing on it here to let this little last gray I did dry. I'm gonna go and uh, see how much brown I've got there on the back end. Uh, and all this right here is just a big gap. I'm gonna put a piece right here in the middle somewhere. Just a little connector piece that'll connect it to the green a little bit and maybe even to the uh, maybe these two together. See how that looks. Or I might just do another little blotch. We'll see what we go with. I'm using these same uh, little figures I cut out I think I did 10 of them, I believe, and I'm just turning them around and around, you know, doing different angles, even switching the sides and making it, you know, a mirror image, just to keep all the different ones we're putting on here uh, different. For anybody who stares at it long enough so they won't say, hey, you reused all of them. Yeah, no crap, Sherlock. Any old ways, though, after that dries, I'm going to go ahead and get some brown on her. Right there in the solo spot that's missing it. Alright, I got the piece I was wanting up here. Uh, let me show you something else I'm doing here. While I'm doing it. I'm putting this green uh, frog tape crap over it here. That way the uh, piece I want here, just as much as I need, I can cover off the rest of it all this on the bottom here I don't want and my ten little uh, cutout designs I made can turn into a thousand that way you can tape up different designs however you want take out what you uh, already had put on or you know add some tape going this way and cut off this and whatever make a whole slew of them out of the little tin that I made here I'm gonna go ahead and tape this on there and we're gonna do this design here okay we're back out here now this is uh, day two I did not spend all day on the boat, to be honest and to be fair. Only spent, I don't know how many hours on it there. Because uh, yesterday I had a lot of other stuff to do. Uh, did a little bit on the back right here. Before I knocked off. 
got a little bit of paint on it there did around the sides right there with the uh, handles just laid the pieces down inside there to do that that was not all that difficult because of how some of them were uh, I can find one to show you here how some of them were made do 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 any piece you have right here that you can stick the whole handle inside easy enough on big parts like that may even be for your door handle on your truck whatever you're doing any old piece you got there you can stick the handle in though uh, probably not this one too much there's one for sure you can stick whatever you got inside of it there and then put this down all around it but so far we got this little bit much done here camera showing that was a glare for some reason first thing I did is I turned on the light underneath the uh, boat here I'm doing I got the light that heats up the uh, inside of it and gets this outside here kind of warm to the touch pretty fast leave them on about 10 minutes and yeah it's hot when you spray paint that it's drying pretty quick now that worked real well for the base coat and I put that base coat on there instead of waiting forever you can turn on them lights right there leave them on overnight and that rascal is dry the next day uh, let's see uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the back but I also want to do a little bit more on this side here too need to put uh, little void pieces on here like this one right here I'm a big old blotch I'm gonna put something down right here maybe make it a gray color so I'll go ahead and uh, do that right now actually I grab to record this right quick just to show you what I'm doing here it's nothing special uh, on these little pieces here these fillers I'm just going to use the bottom of this piece here get it up about where we need it and figure it out I wanted to come down about right there with it I remember off the side so line it up real good make sure it's good and square got the fan on to blow the uh, paint away from the camera while it's recording And I didn't have to tape off the bottom or lay anything over it because it doesn't matter if it gets painted over. And I'll just throw this back up there. And now that little blotch there that was there is a little bit more diffused. 